I'm back for the month of April and you can see that we exported 658.65 kilowatt hours which was at a price well once they paid us Octopus £103.74 but on top of that you can also see that we only consumed 242 from the grid and paid them £35 so we're doing well our solar panels are performing pretty well here's a quick reminder of our setup this is our southeast facing roof with those six panels 430 watts and six 16 panels on the north side of the building it's northwest aspect but those 16 panels uh, we went against the grain against the uh, perceived wisdom and put them on the wrong side of the house you can go back and watch some of my previous videos to recap the exact specifics of the installation and how we came about that we we're so pleased with the installer that we found that accommodated an unusual request and just had some brilliant workmanship so I encourage you to go and watch that video anyway but let's get into the details there you can see the two aspects of the roof before we move on to the next slide Okay, so our full generation for the month of April came to 892.6 kilowatt hours. And um, let me show you how that was broken down. So uh, this is plotted now on the uh, against the forecast. So the blue bars are what we should be generating and orange bars are what we have generated. And I've seen online that uh, a lot of people for April have been down by 10 to 20 percent. So we are so pleased to see that we are generating well above what we have been forecast. Um, let's hope that it continues. The only way is up. Okay, our best uh, best day of generation was the 21st of April which was 45.5 kilowatt hours and our worst was here on the 10th of April 14.3 kilowatt hours. Um, a reminder that 73% of our panels in terms of their peak watt potential is on the northwest roof and 27% is on the southeast roof um, but the northwest roof is producing 66% of our power. A whole 593.3 kilowatt hours was generated by our 16 panels on our northwest facing roof and just under 300 kilowatts for kilowatt hours for our six panels on our southeast aspect. Here you can see the per per panel production all the P's on our northwest roof that was averaging at 37 kilowatt hours per panel and 50 kilowatt hours per panel for our southeast facing roof so what about the optimizers i've only got optimizers on the six southeast facing panel when i put a video up back in january i did a little time lapse to show you the shading issue i had with the front gable on the house maybe i'll insert that in the edit and everyone overwhelmingly said optimizers 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 well now I'm not so convinced and I'm starting to collect the data to back up whether I need the optimizers or not. So first issue is the Tigo is over reporting because my inverter is not actually collecting quite as much power from this from the Tigo optimized panels as the Tigo is reporting. So we there's a slight discrepancy there to start with. Um, here you can see that 98% of the, sorry if I didn't make that clear, the tiny little bars at the top are what is the optimised power and the dark green bars are just the normal solar power that doesn't have any assistance from the optimizers. As you can see 98% of the energy from our southeast facing aspect is not utilising the optimizers. The only benefit of the optimizers at the moment is seeing the per panel production and breakdown, which is pretty much flat across all my panels. So my shading issue isn't as bad as I expected. And when I do have shading, it's more a hard shading issue. So optimizers may be more valuable if you have trees or some sort of scattered shading throughout the day. Um, I do notice with passing cloud and regular passing cloud, the optimizers actually do seem to make more of a difference than the shading from my front gable. So anyway, Here's a little picture from a couple of days ago. This was 3.30 p.m. and you can see that my shading issue is no way near as bad as we expected it to be. Of course, it was a bad idea to analyse the roof 
back in January when the sun was a lot lower in the sky but already we can see towards the end of April there's virtually no shading issue on my front panels and thus the optimizers are probably not as beneficial as they may be for someone else with greater shading issues. Okay uh, are the north fa facing panels really worth it? Well the rule of thumb has always been 50% of the generation uh, for like for like if you had one kilowatt peak on a south uh, aspect and one kilowatt peak on a north aspect you'd expect the south aspect to perform twice as well as the north one but I'm not seeing that I'm seeing a much smaller gap actually the south panels are only performing 33% 34% better than um, their their counterparts on the other side of the roof. Okay, so my self-consumption was 233.95 kilowatt hours. That's the self-consumption directly from the solar panels. And we exported 658.65 kilowatt hours. So I think that's quite healthy export over a hundred pounds. Um, this is our profile over the month for export. And you can see the very best day for export was once again on the 21st. And that was 35.88 kilowatt hours. And our very worst day was also, again, on the 10th, 6.64 kilowatt hours. So our best and worst days for both the generation and export are the same days. Um, in, I mean, as an aside, April was a relatively cold month compared to previous years. Our heat pump was running a lot more than I expected it to. We did have a few warmer days and the heat pump does have a, a temperature threshold. So once it gets to 17 degrees outside, the heat pump switches itself off. But up until 17 degrees, it still does run sporadically. So a, a good amount of our consumption was still uh, sucked into our heat pump and heating the home and providing hot water. So here you can see the percentage of the generation and, and where that went to either exported or self-consumed and this is then translated into pounds and pence and this figure for my self-consumption here is the local rate for the octopus flexible tariff which is like the price cap rate so um, I will make some adjustments on this in the future um, uh, a side note this uh, all the financials here are kind of made possible by octopus being such a great supplier the uh, import rate that I actually paid I averaged out at 14p per kilowatt hour uh, for the month of April which I don't have any home storage battery or anything so I was just on the agile tariff and then the solar was just picking up the slack and so my export uh, rate at 15p per kilowatt hour was greater than my import rate of 14 pence per kilowatt hour so i'm kind of using the grid as a giant storage battery rather than uh having my own home storage battery here okay um this is once again just showing the progression from january to february to march to april a reminder that we only had it commissioned uh, for a few days in January so it's not a true reflection on that but you can see the direction of the curve and I'm very happy with that both for generation and for export so once again the curious little addition on the bottom of the Sunsync app uh, given us all a pat on the back uh, don't pay too much attention to these figures they seem well uh, exaggerated um, I just wanted to pull out a couple of profile uh, generations here so this was the very best day on the 21st and you can see we still have plenty of cloud cover so we had a lot of potential for a lot more generation and these little surges here you can see this is typically the compressor of the heat pump kicking in for a few minutes and then it settles down to a lower power and as the temperature increases outside then there's less uh, power required for the heat pump and then as we're cooking during the peak hours of agile not the best but you know here we are and this was uh, towards the end this was the 30th of April I, I picked up this one specifically because it was so clear in the morning I was able to plot exactly when we reached one kilowatt of output from the panels two kilowatts three kilowatts four kilowatts five kilowatts six kilowatts on this day because of cloud cover we never made it up to the seven kilowatt which we did see on some other days and the 50 50 split was between the two aspects of the roof so by 11 15 a.m the northwest aspect is generating the same amount it was roughly about two and a half kilowatts thereabouts 
of power as the southeast aspect was. So any regrets? So far so good. Actually I'm over the moon with how everything's going. As you can see from the beginning our costs and the amount we're exporting as well as the import and the amount that we're importing and how well Agile is working for us even though Agile had some really great days and some really bad days averaging out at 14p and exporting at 15p it's all working great so here's to a may a june july what are we predicting for may i i know we're going to see over a thousand i'm just going to put it out there are we going to see let's be bold 1200 kilowatt hours that's my prediction if you love my christmas jumper like and subscribe and leave me a comment of what you've seen in your generation and compare it to your previous years. So I've got a kind of baseline. Are you 10, 20% down and should I expect greater things in the future? Thanks guys. Bye.